And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Matty, you quick to sell somebody out up there, huh? Hey, you sold me out. You put me out there, right? You put me out there to dry. So the fucking truth came out, right? So fuck you, man. You think you're fucking great? Your shit came back, Roar. Let's see how you do now. I'm not on the team anymore to fucking blame. Who are you gonna pick on next? Lou Ross again? Relax, you gonna put man, him up relax, there? Man. I'm not fucking afraid of anyone. At least I don't hide behind anyone. And Chef Ramsey knew that. And I proved it. And that's why I'm still here. Keep hiding behind Bobby, Ben, because that's what you're good for. Is that the best you got? No, go, go, go fucking quit for another two the years. Strong, stay with the strong. Asshole. He is a nut job. The girls don't even, they don't even have an inkling of what this guy's about. He think y'all manipulative. He have no idea what the fuck he didn't get himself into, though. I didn't do anything wrong tonight. Yeah, why does he want to be on our team, though, on our stand? You know, Bobby, Bobby. I ain't the one hiding behind a shield. He thinks we're because we're girls, we're fucking nice, dude. We're worse than you guys, way worse. Believe that. Try working with that bitch right there. <laughs> the blonde hair fucking devil. Like, we just got rid of one of our weakest players, and now they're putting him on our team. That's not fair. It's not fair. It took us a while to get Sheena out of here. No offense to her, but what the fuck? And now we have to put up with his well, shit. At least she was Matt is not going to be there for long. He's going to probably last, I would say, a day or two before he's probably, now he's really going to get voted off. He's not on our team, dude. I'm sorry. He's blue, and he'll always be blue. It's a new day and a new team lineup in Hell's Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning, morning Chef. How are you feeling, Matt? Great, Chef. Good. What was it like being with the girls? Women. Chefs. It doesn't matter. Girls or guys. Ben, are you missing Matty? Can't say that I am, Chef. No? No. Nope. Does he make you nervous? No. No. No, not at all. We're just glad that he's fucking gone and, you know, we're just sick of looking at his face. Now. I got up early this morning, and I was cooking some dishes for you guys. Yeah? Cooking because I want you to taste. That's the test this morning. Chef Ramsay has prepared three dishes to test the chef's palates. First, simple, classic chicken parmesan. Each dish is missing one key ingredient, the meat. Let's go, taste the cheese. What the chefs don't know is that the chicken isn't really chicken. It's soy protein. Which ingredient do you think is missing? It's uh, missing some garlic. Salt, a little bit of pepper. The pasta is pretty bland. I have the best palate in the world. I've tasted a lot of different stuff over the years, so I ain't worried about it. It's processed chicken. Right, next dish. This is a classic beef stew. And the beef stew is missing. That's right, the beef. It's actually a soy-based substitute. Tell me what ingredient you think is missing. No salt, no pepper. No salt, no pepper. The meat is, uh, the texture is odd. Yeah. The meat's overcooked. What's happening here is the pellets are working over time. This next one, one of my favorites. This is a sausage ravioli. And the only ingredient missing from the sausage ravioli yeah, the sausage. The stuffing is delicious. The seasoning on the pasta is missing. It needs more seasoning. It's too the dull. The brown butter is good. I don't think it's that bad. I kind of like you the said... interior. You like that, Patrosa? Nice ravioli. That's beautiful filling. The ravioli, that stuff was awesome. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. OK, let me tell you what's missing from the chicken parmesan. There's no chicken in there. It's fake. He must have got it from a damn good vegetarian store or something, because, I mean, you know, it, it tasted like meat. Let me tell you about the beef stew. There's no beef in there. For a second, I thought it was cat, because it's stringy. Not that I ever ate cat before. And finally, the raviolis that you all loved. There's no sausage in there. Petroza. Yes, Chef. You're the closest one to turn around and identify there was something wrong with the beef stew. Yeah. Not enough. I'm really, seriously disgusted with all your palates, and not one of you spotted fake chicken, 
fake sausage and fake beef. You all have a chance now to redeem yourself a blind taste test. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. But first of all, Matt, you look terrible in blue. Get that on. Yes, chef. Let's go. The blind taste test will help Chef Ramsay determine who has a good palate, something he believes is essential to being a great chef. Teens are uneven. Jen, sit out on this one. For me, the worst possible thing is to be sitting on the sidelines while my team is doing something. So I was crushed when Chef Ramsay pulled me out of it. Roseanne, yes, step chef. forward, please. Petroza, let's go. OK, blindfolds on, please. Each chef must attempt to identify three items. The team with the most correct answers will win the challenge. First one, chicken. Doesn't get any simpler than that. I think the one with the worst palate on our team will be Roseanne, just due to the fact that she hasn't really tasted a lot of food from, you know, all over the world. What is it? It's white meat pork. You're wrong. Oh. What is it? It's some dry ass chicken. <laughs> One nothing to the men. Sweet potato. Open up. What is it? Sweet potato. Sweet. Yes. Oh, Petroza, come up. I'm thinking it's a turnip. Uh, yeah! Wrong. Sweet potato. Uh, this is the last one for these two. Nectarine. Open up. What is it? Yeah. Come on, big boy, what is it? Pineapple? Uh, wrong. Nectarine. Ah. Petroza, what an idiot. <clears throat> Bombed. Two out of three, well done. Two one to the girls. Okay, round two. With the red team up by one, Corey must now face off against her best friend in Hell's Kitchen, Lou Ross. Meatloaf. Neither Corey nor Lou Ross can correctly identify meatloaf or watercress. Now, they must try to identify turnips. Open up. Come on, Lou Ross. What is it? Turn up. Yeah! <laughs> well done. Thank you. What is it? It had a taste of like salsa or something. Uh, wrong. Turn it. Turn it. 3-1 to the ladies. With the red team ahead by two, it's now culinary student Christina versus executive chef Bobby. Shrimp. Neither can identify shrimp. Oh, damn. Radish. Open up. Go. It tastes similar to radish, but it's the wrong texture. No, girl. Don't overthink it, Christina. Come on. Fuck it. What is it? Radish. Radish. Yes! <laughs> Well done, good Thank girl. you, Chef. What is that? It's like a parsnip. Uh, wrong. Radish. Four for the red and one for the blue. Hey, guys, wake up, huh? Chopped truffle. Open. I know exactly what that is. What is that? That's truffle. Can I have some more? What is it, big boy? A mushroom. Ah. Uh. Jesus. Oh my God, I couldn't believe Bobby didn't get truffles right. You can smell them a mile away before they even get to your mouth to know it's truffles. With a score of five for the red team and one for the blue, the scene is set for a face-off of epic proportions. Now, listen up. There's been some great rivalries out there. Yankees versus Red Sox. Go Yankees. Tyson versus Holyfield, yes? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Matt versus Ben. Let's go. I went into that final challenge with Maddie, and you know, I was I was pretty psyched. Not like Maddie's actually fucking competition anyway. The final round, yes. This is something different. You're now going to be tasting something I've made. In this dish, there are ten ingredients. We'll alternate. We'll start with Ben, and we'll alternate to Matt. As you list an ingredient, yes, you score a point. Simple as that. Yes, yes chef. chef. You got that, Come Matt. on, Maddie. Keep it simple. Come on, Matt. I am a little worried about Matt. You know, I don't think he has a very good palate. And 10 ingredients is enough to change the tide. In you go. Careful, it's hot. 
In this round, Matt and Ben will receive one point for each ingredient they successfully identify. With 10 possible ingredients and a score of 5 to 1, it's still anyone's game. Ben, one item in that dish. Lambs. Congratulations. Woo! Five for the ladies, two for the men. Matt. Potato. Potato. Congratulations. Woo! Keep it going, Matt. Ben, name me a third ingredient in that dish. Cream. Good. Matt. Thyme. Good. Ben. Celery. Congratulations. Matt. I tasted onion, chef. Congratulations. Yeah. Huh? OK, Ben, name me one more ingredient in that dish. With only four ingredients left, Ben must get every remaining guess correct if the blue team is to have any hope of staying in the competition. I'm going to have to say it has to have some fresh parsley in it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job, Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, man. If Matt gets this next question right, it's over. <laughs> and the ladies have won. It'll be nine to five, and there won't be sufficient ingredients left within that dish for the blue team to pull back. Matt, name me one more ingredient in that dish. I tasted carrot sure. also, chef. Matt. You're right. All right. Mine folds off. Oh, man. Ten ingredients in a basic clam chowder. Well done. It's a great introduction to the red team. Ben, you want me off your team? What can I say? Matt. Yes, chef. Well done. Thank you, chef. I'm pissed off right now. I don't really want to fucking talk about Matt. Blue team, punishment. First off, we've been upstairs in the dorms for a while, so I think they're ready for a nice, good, old-fashioned spring clean, yes? From floor to ceiling, you're going to be turning those beds upside down. I want the fridge cleaned down. I want the floor hoover, toilet bowls, you name it, I want it done. Dorms are dirty right now. It's like a frat house and a sorority house that mashed up together. I want everywhere spotless. Right, red team. Yes, Can't chef. call you girls anymore, can I, Matt? No. Nope. No, unless you lift them up a little bit. <laughs> OK, congratulations, well done. Honestly, one of the most amazing rewards, the patio has been transformed into a luxury spa. Oh, oh, you will be having the most amazing massage. Oh, Facials, oh, manicures, pedicures, oh, you name it. We've got a team of specialists to buff you up and make you look handsome and pretty oh. and gorgeous. We've been praying for spa day. Yeah, you need to fix that weave. Mm. One more thing. We're opening for dinner tonight. Let's go. Huh? Up. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Please come get some champagne. Wow, what a transformation. When we walked out to the patio, I felt complete joy, and I was just like so relieved to finally be able to kind of let loose and just relax and uh, have a great day. Excellent. It's like the Thank best you. reward ever. Yep. They want to talk about us being pigs? I haven't cooked a fucking thing in here yet. This place is fucking disgusting. It was tough, you know? Because I really could have used some uh, therapeutic rub kind of thing. Chef Ramsey wasn't playing around when he said the place needed to be cleaned from top to bottom. There was hair, and there was like women's hair all in the... Somebody was like losing a lot of hair in the bathroom. Guys, I'm getting a chocolate mask. Don't eat it, Matt. I hope they have eyebrow wax. This metrosexual's getting done up. <laughs> so wonderful. Matt, you made a good choice of switching. <laughs> Perfect timing. Plus, I had to help you guys win. I know Matt glad he's on our team now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jen, you know what? Huh? 
Someone's trash is someone else's treasure. Yeah. Well, they're up there scrubbing toilets. <laughs> Lieutenant Scott? Yo. The girls are thirsty. You gonna feed the red team iced tea? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I gotta go downstairs and pour iced tea in their glasses. Oh, boy, Matt right now, he's on his high horse today. I don't even care about them winning today. Just to get him off of our team is, you know, I'd fucking go upstairs and clean again if I had to. Get ready to serve y'all some drinks. Yeah. Please, thank you. That's awesome. No, I would actually prefer a cheese and cracker at this time. Thank you. Please, and a fig, too. Do you know what an idiot you look like right now? That's all right, but it feels good. Would you like some tea? Sure. You may pour it down your throat or leave it yeah, to the side. Leave it to the side. Okay. I love the fact that they had to go clean toilets. I wish it was Ben scrubbing the bottom of my toes. Adios. If you guys need anything, you just holler at me, all right? That was fun, Bob. I hate you missed that. Man, I'm just letting you know you're next to go, so. I'll tell you why, I don't care when they send me home, but I want to see Ben leave before me. So let's kick ass tonight. That's always the goal. After suffering a humiliating defeat to the women's team, which now includes Matt, the blue team is more determined than ever to win dinner service. We're ready. Yeah, Trozy. Woo! I want to win this dinner service. I want it bad. If Matt does good and the red team does good and we do bad, we look like assholes. All right, who sees something that needs to be done badly? See anything? Matt, you want to do some poached eggs? You need poached eggs, yeah. yeah. This is my perfect opportunity to show the guys it's them and not me, that they made a mistake. I need to win tonight. I need redemption. Mm. I need redemption. I'm definitely not happy by the addition to our team tonight. The girls are definitely going to give Matt hell. Don't mess with a boy from Brooklyn. Let's make the fucking survey and shut up. I'm just pumped up being on the red team. I see a capital V for us tonight. It's moments away from the opening of Hell's Kitchen, and Chef Ramsay has some final words for both teams. Quick briefing. Everybody ready for a great service? Yes, Chef. Yes, yes, you guys had a big disappointment in the taste challenge, yes? Make it up. Come back. Show me what you got if you don't want to go home. So, no more special events. No more family nights. No more sweet 16s. Tonight is back to fine dining menu. Big night tonight, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, huh? Jean Philippe, get off the sunbed and open Hell's Kitchen, please. It's the seventh dinner service in Hell's Kitchen. I'll have the scallops. Hell's Kitchen! And with the team shakeup, the aspiring chefs are eager to prove themselves. Blue team, we ready? We're gonna win tonight, ladies. Uh, Roseanne. Yes, Chef. God help you if you fucking sink to oblivion tonight, yes? I'm looking forward to dinner service tonight. I know I'm going to be on top of my game and stay focused, communicate. That's what I need to do to stay in this game and stay strong. Let's go. I want a four covers, double six, two risotto, two scallops, entree, one salmon, one beef, one Wellington, one chicken. Yes, Chef. Yeah. No answer from fucking laid back Ben. He's more laid back than the dining board. Can I have an answer, please, Chef Ben? Yes, Chef. Thank you, Chef Ben. The men get started on their first orders. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, the pressure is on Roseanne to deliver her first appetizer. Uh, hello, hello. Fuck off, will you? Hey, you, come here, madam, come here. Yes, chef. Oh, look at the color of the scallop. Cook the fuck one side, nothing on the other, yeah? Fuck off. I want one more portion of scallops now, yeah? Yes, chef. Mom, Roseanne, pull it together, you can do it. All right. Do it for Staten Island. Put a little love into it, yeah? Roseanne was just pretty much not ready. She wasn't prepared on the fish station. Um, I tried to give her advice, but she's just kind of like very scatterbrained. I think that um, there's a big chance of something going wrong. Unbelievable. Service, please. Scallop in the window. Very nice. So now, you know how to cook a scallop. You know how to cook it now. Yes, chef. I was really excited that I got it right because I started off with the wrong foot. Yeah, wake up, madam, yeah? Okay, chef. 45 minutes into dinner service, customers in the red dining room are finally enjoying their appetizers. That's really good. 
That is good. Yeah. In the blue kitchen, Lou Ross and Bobby will have to work together to complete the scallop appetizer. Where's the scallops? Come on, Lou Ross. You need to start making these eggs. Look at me. Look at me. These scallops are fucking cooked. Are you ready? Five minutes. Fuck off, five minutes. Bobby, you can't just keep on looking after yourself. You've got to talk. Chef, he, he told me it was coming. It was here. He told me to fire him. That's why I'm firing him. I'm not firing him just to be firing him. Unfucking believable You know, it's all about a timing system because I'm way faster than Lou Ross, so when I needed the eggs, I needed them. You know, when I want it, I want it. Hurry up, Lou Ross! Yes, Chef! While the blue kitchen waits on Lou Ross to complete their appetizers, the red kitchen is moving on to entrees. On order, six cover table 30, two salmon, two wellington, one chicken, one beef, one wellington medium, yes? Yes, Chef! Is that order fired? No, I guess not. not. No fire, Chef. Hey! Look at me. Don't dare start calling tables away. Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsey, he got it out for me. He supposedly likes vocal people. He want a leader. He wants somebody to stand out. Now, I guess he's on his period or whatever today, so he gets pissed off for me when I try to be, be vocal and be the leader. All it does is just confuse everybody. Yes? Yes, Chef. Yeah, look at me. I'll call out the order. You fucking cook, OK? Yes, Chef. Let's get that right. Five minutes on the next ticket, Jen. I always knew that Jen would be the one to undo Jen. How are you doing, Jen? After she got yelled at, she just shut down. Jen! Jen! While wounded Jen tries to recover, over in the blue kitchen, Lou Ross is doing his best to impress. Where's the Caesar salad? Beautiful. Hey, Lou Ross. Nice. Wow. Hey, make sure every portion's like that now. Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay. Actually, loved what I cooked, so it was pretty stoked. While Lou Ross takes a moment to enjoy his success, Roseanne is picking up the pace. Let's go. Service, please. Oh, fucking hell. What was she doing? Put the pan down. Put the pan, put the pan down. Fucking let go. Look, just, I mean, this, this is where you are. Just, just stop. This is where you are. Touch that. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, just come here. Fucking come here, all of you. That's you as well, stroppy face. I don't know what it is with you, but you've given up, and it fucking shows. Just the way you mope, the way you turn, and the fucking chips on your shoulder. I've had enough! Well, what the fuck? You don't want me to say nothing, so I'm not gonna say shit. Now that I'm not saying nothing, now you pissed off because I'm not saying nothing. I just can't win for losing. Touch that. Shit. Yeah, shit. That's fucking right as shit. Did it hurt? No, shit. Fucking it sue me. Hey, and look at me, hey, because the response is fucking shocking. No one gives a damn. Now I've got raw, stone cold, fucking longestine. Raw, stone cold, longestine! Yes, Chef. I'm gonna fix it right now. Let's get it one back. One minute, one minute. You got too hey, much oil. Grand Chef, take your fucking garnish back. With the red team losing their momentum, Chef Ramsay looks to the blue kitchen to come through with their orders. Ben! Sir. Yeah, quickly, yeah? Look at me, look at me, speed it quickly, yeah. Just touch that, you can actually see how pink it is already. Sorry? Fucking hell. I just want you to know what you're doing. None of you are communicating, no one's going together, no one's making eye contact, and no one's reminding each other as a team. Chef, I'm not used to the brigade system, but it, it's, it takes a little time to get adapted to it. And that's it. Do you know what, hey? What's up? You are so fucking sad, hey. Every time I ask you something, you give me the limpest excuse, you know that? I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, I know you've been honest. I'm being fucking honest with you. Okay. I love it. Yeah. He's getting his ass kicked tonight. You're one of the most fucking saddest I've ever met in a fucking kitchen. It takes a little time. I can't get used to this. Sounds like a fucking weirdo on Dr. Phil. Come on, Ben. What's the matter? I'm about to snap with you. What's the matter, Ben? I'm not there anymore. How long, Ben? Two minutes. Two minutes. The men can't seem to work together, but can the women? Maddie, do you have a moment? Yeah, what do you need can me? You take the beef to the pass. You got it. Hello! Where's the beef? Looks good. All right, Chef, come to the window now. Let's go. Nice to cook the beef. Christina! Yes, Chef! That beef perfectly cooked. Yes, Chef. Oh, I was so proud. And I think as more time goes on, I just get more confident, more confident, more confident. Nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef. Fuck the thank you. Just concentrate. Hey, that's one. We've got 20 more to go. Yes, Chef. Don't start peeing your fucking knickers. Yes, Chef. Service. More than half of the red diners are enjoying their entrees. 
Diners on the blue side are also eating anything they can find. This is really embarrassing, you know? I don't want to have to eat a snack at a restaurant. They got their main course of them. In an hour, we're almost out of breath. Okay? Now you, just come here a minute. Yeah. Just turn around yeah. and look at the fucking yeah, No, come stuff. here, come here. Crap on top of crap on top of crap on top of crap. My station was messy, there's no question about it. Just look here, look at here, look, look. From there to there, get clean! Yes, chef. Wasn't as organized as I could have been, period. I usually have people cleaning up after me, but certainly not here. Look at the mess! If you could help me pass some of the stuff down, it'd be awesome. While Petroza tries to clean up his act, Chef Ramsay has a few choice words for... Matt! Yes, Chef! Come here. Taste that. Yes, Chef. Salad. Very nice. Thank Best you. Best results of the night. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, pop the thank you. Let's go. That's delicious, sir. It's the best feeling I ever had in my life. I want to hug the man. Yes! Yo, taste this. He fucking said this is the best risotto you ever had. Nice. I want to thank my wife and my best friend and, and Chef Ramsey, Chef Scott, Chef Gloria. Thanks a lot for helping me be what I am today. I love it over here. You're my girls. Matt revels in a rare compliment. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsey looks to Ben for the entrees. How long for those two Wellington? I have that Wellington, Chef. Come here. What is going on? You've got one. Which one have you got? I've got both of the Wellingtons, OK? Listen to me. Yes, sir. Which one is ready? There is nothing ready on that ticket yet. I'm aware you've got them. I need to tell the customers how fucking long. Give me six minutes, please, Chef. For a well done Wellington. Yes, Chef. Back at home, I ran kitchens for years, and you know, no problems. It's just he comes over there and he just gets so fucking riled up, and then he gets you all fluster fucked, and you don't know what you're doing. Petroza. Yes. Where's the mise en for the lamb? Because I'm gonna be three short. I'll what? wrap you some lamb. Hey, hold on a minute. Hey, come here, you. Yes, sir. Say that again. What time that ticket come on? 6:30. What time is it now? Eight o'clock. You are joking, aren't you? We've run out of lamb. They're five the fucking entrees, and you tell me now. I got a chef. I'll take care of it. Oh, fuck. Damn, Jen, and I was the problem over there. Then he wanted to use me as a scapegoat and put me out there and say I'm the weakest and I hide behind everyone. The scapegoat's no longer there, and you got no one to blame. Can't cook, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you fucking wake up? Yes, Chef. I'm coming to the end of it now. The blue kitchen is stalled as Ben rushes to prepare the lamb. Meanwhile, the red team keeps the entrees coming. Hello. You. You as well. Hey. Yeah? You may learn something. It's fucking raw. Hey, madam. Yes, Chef. It's raw. Yes, Chef. Chef told me I definitely had to watch my P's and Q's tonight because, you know, tonight was like my night to do better. And obviously I had some, what you call, mess ups. I just let myself down. How long for that salmon? I need five minutes, Chef. Have you got the garnish for the salmon? No, I didn't hear that either. Hey, you know how you look at me when you I talk to me? I just said no, I was putting my food in here, yeah. Chef. Hey, Jay, look at me. You're one fucking cocky lady for someone who knows jack shit. You know that? Yes, yeah, Chef. You're so far up your own ass, you don't know how fucking cocky you are. He said I was cocky, but it's like, what the fuck? I act humble every time I see him. So how the fuck am I cocky? That's there, ready, beef slice, sauce ready, garnish there, salmon not ready. It's a story all night. You can't even get two fucking dishes together. That's how shit you be. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck off. Fucking table again. I've had enough, OK? Not good enough for me. I've had enough. Enough! I, I can't please that man. And then for him to turn around and, and throw a fucking full-ass tray of food on my station, like I'm some type of dog. Dude, don't nobody disrespect me like that. I'm getting tired of this shit right now. I really am. I've had enough. I can't tell you anything anymore. I can't even give you any direction. Do you know why? You're undirectable, because it's like, oh, really? And you? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. 
Oh. I don't even know if I deserve to stay because after tonight's performance, I know I let the chef down and I let myself down and I let my daughter down. And that's what hurt me the most right now. Fuck a pathetic bunch of fucking women. It's two and a half hours into dinner service and no food is coming out of either kitchen. It's been an hour since we had our appetizer. However, on the blue side, food is coming back into the kitchen. What table is that? Uh, blue side, chef. They requested well done, and it's blood all over. There you go. There you go. Requested well done. Now look at it then. Schmuck. Jack. I have a lot of pride in myself and what I do. I'm just gonna keep working, try and get the food out. It's all you can do. Anything to say? It's easy for you. That's your fucking problem. You've had it fucking easy. You're not even busting your gut. Karma really bites you in the ass. Oh fucking no, you've taken it easy. <laughs> and listen, hey, hey, look at me. Stop it! Switch it off. You're not sending any more shit out of here. You sent enough. Take it easy. You deserve it. You've had a hard night. Are we done? Because if we're not, I'm going to complete my station tonight, Chef. Shut it down! Turn it off! You think? <laughs> Stop it! Tonight, we were overconfident, lazy, slow, and somewhat pathetic. Both kitchens. There was one chef that bounced back. Matt. Well done. Thank you, chef. It was the best risotto that's ever gone out in Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, chef. Why you've waited this long to start doing that, I don't know. Because the women listen to me and, and show me respect. The losing team is the men. I've had enough. Each individual come up with one nominee. Yes, chef. Now fuck off to your dorms. I'm on cloud nine right now. I've been getting my ass kicked at Hell's Kitchen since day one, and it's about time I shined. That was the best compliment I ever got. That was a very good compliment. That was a good compliment. That was fucking tight, bro. I'm very humble about it. <sighs> After what was clearly Ben's worst dinner service, he gets strategic. I'm, I'm nominating myself, because really I ain't selling three of you guys out. Sure. Who are you putting up, Bob? I'm going with that, too. You, everybody want to go with that? What are you going to do, Lou Ross? I am definitely not going to nominate myself. I, I know I did a good job today. It feels like Ben is trying to play everybody for a fool. I busted everything out. Yeah, you don't have to nominate yourself if you don't want to. I wish Lou Ross would just man up. Maybe we should nominate his ass. Hey, me and you and Petroza are tight. All we have to do is tell Petroza to come in here and you do it. You know what I'm saying? You want to play that game? Yeah. Petroza! Lou Ross, I got mixed feelings about him. He hasn't contributed, and he's probably the weakest one on the team. We're thinking about uh, nominating Lou Ross. You're lying. It's Bobby's idea. I can't nominate Lou Ross. Petroza, serious, OK? Just stop and think. I mean, he's, he's done nothing in the challenges, you know? I mean, he's... I can't nominate Luke Ross. You can pick tonight. How do I nominate him? OK, this is a, the safe thing to do is to nominate each other. That way we're all four up there. Yeah. He just picks one of us. Right. I mean, I don't know what the fuck to do. You nominate me, I nominate you. That's it. OK, done. Well, I haven't made my decision yet. I, I wouldn't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Hey, do we have an understanding? Are we good? Gentlemen. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Difficult decisions? Yes, chef. Very difficult. First off, Lou Ross. Who are you nominating and why? I'm nominating Ben, chef. Today, it was a rocky start, but I still held my ground down. I'm not being heared out, and that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't even fake the funk. It just felt like every single time, I'm just like, yo, you know, anyone gonna listen to me? That's I don't even got nothing to say no more, Chef. I'm sorry. I think after that, I get it. 
Bravo. Thank you, Chef. You've just grown two more inches. Ben, whose dreams are you shattering this evening? I'm going to lean towards Lou Ross on this one. Lou Ross? Yes. You've got it in for that little fellow, haven't you? Bobby, who and why? Tonight I'm nominating uh, Petroza. I don't think that his heart is directly towards being an executive chef in a gourmet restaurant. Petroza. Yes, chef. Who are you nominating and why? This is a tough decision, chef. Yeah, fire away, big boy. They're all being clearly honest, slightly vindictive. You speak from the heart like you've been doing. I'm going to nominate myself, chef. I can't pick any of these guys. They work too hard, and we came in today and worked our asses off. You know, I tried to get the job done. I just, I wasn't a star in that spot today. Your level of maturity stands out. You're the most gracious man on that team. Thank you, chef. OK. The one person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. Ben, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. I gave 100%. I gave everything I had. I put everything into it. You know in your heart if I'm the one for your kitchen or not, and I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass to try and get there. Tonight, we forget everything that's happened, and we put it behind us. Yes, Chef. Now, it's time to show how much better you're capable of being. I'm definitely going to win this competition. I'm sharper. I'm faster, you know? I've been training. Watch out for Bobby. I'm taking this whole competition. Red team. Yes, Chef. It's five against three. I need a volunteer to go onto the blue. I'd rather be called a woman all day long than go back to the fucking blue team. Let me know first thing in the morning. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Get some sleep. Petroza. Yes, Chef. You're a gentleman. Thanks, Chef. It means a lot coming from you. I already feel like a winner. I already feel like a winner. But I've got a long way to go. Ben left a manual labor job, shoveling ditches to get back into cooking. But all he did in Hell's Kitchen was dig himself into a hole, a hole too deep to get out of.